Hello, welcome back again to NX Tutorial. Uh, in this session, I still need, I still want to share about the same application is motion. Uh, in here, I have a mechanism, rack and pinion mechanism. I want to make a motion simulation. The so the di display will sliding in harmonic uh, motion. So let's go to the motion simulation. Uh, click new simulation using a dynamic in here. Okay. Get link. The first link is this part. Okay, so this is the base part, and the second is the motion part. This is the motion part, and the third is the pinion. Okay, now we have three links the base moving. is the pinion are you think that I should give name rack so rack and pinion okay and then I will fix the link for the base and create the full join between this pinion and, and the base uh, select action link the base link specify the origin click at the center the factor direction perpendicular to this okay I have joined in here and the next I sh will I will create the rack and pinion now the first thing I need to create also the slider joint and the second joint is the reflow joint I can select this part uh, I mean select this joint I already made before so I will go to join again select this link select the base link uh, specify the origin I can use maybe in here yes to specify the factor you can go to the surface the so Oh, sorry. This is a full joint. It should not have full joint. It should be slider joint. Select link. Select base link. Specify the origin. It's okay. The factor perpendicular with this. I think this is perpendicular. Okay. Now I, I have the fluid and the slider joint to create track and pinion to connection. First, this one. Second is this one. You can see NX automatically determine the pin radius uh, 4.7. The ratio, I mean the ratio. This part. Okay. Now, I want to insert a harmonic motion in here a harmonic motion you can see the amplitude and also the frequency the amplitude it means how many degree change the frequency how many degree change in a second maybe I should enter this this number for the beginning click the solution number one okay let's using three seconds click solve and see the animation so this is the animation okay okay I want to create a smooth animation
okay now for this if I change the step solution maybe about five seconds you can see the difference and we I should add about 100 okay now this is the motion okay in here you can see the smooth motion click close now I want to explain a little bit about the uh, harmonic motion you can see in here we have a harmonic motion this is the parameter the ampl amplitude and the frequency so what gonna be the effect if I change okay for example if I change the amplitude about just only 45 so it means it just only displays have uh, displacement 45 degree from left to the right okay you can see now it's just only 45 degrees is very different with 180 okay if I return it again into 180 you can see here it swing 180 so that is the the effect the amplitude effect if I go back again to the okay this part go to the driver what about the frequency if I change the frequency 360 to give a second so it means one times uh, per second it will change it will shifting okay go to result so this is what happened more faster compared to the actual what about if I start 45 this is what happened if I put it 45 degrees a uh, slow oscillation okay so that is the effect of these two parameters amplitude and frequency so if I change it about 72 degree it's getting faster Okay, so uh, that's it about the explanation in about the harmonic function. So now I hope this is can be useful for you if you want to create a harmonic simulation for this motion. Thank you very much for watching my video.